Hey everybody, Art House 21 here, and I'm just going to do a quick video to try out the theory. And if you look here, you've got Slade, and Slade, you know, has, you know, been out for a few runs and has has gone right to the edge of 60, but hasn't quite gotten there. So, I'm oh, sorry, right to the edge of 70, and hasn't quite gotten there. So in this case, I decided to try out a little experiment because every time I've taken it out. I've actually had my little uh, Trinity power meter in the line. Now that Trinity power meter has a limit of 100 amps. So my thought is that device in the middle of the line is probably acting like a resistor. That's keeping uh, full power from going down to, from the battery through to the ESC to the motor because it just acts in the, gets in the middle here and this, uh, you know, acts like a roadblock or, a, you know, acts like a log jack. So I figure, let me just go ahead and for the heck of it, just try without this and see what happens. So I'm going with the GoPro. So you're going to see me drop off for a second, but you'll see Slake out by and then I'll show you the results. All right, let's see what happens. Now that was special. It got going so well, the rod in broke off. Plus you scraped some paint off. It was where? Down there, where you're staying close. <laughs> okay, that's pretty darn special then. Oh. So let's go ahead and see how fast I got. Did you, did you bring a second one? Oh yeah, I've got spare parts. Did you bring the off? Okay, let's see what, let's see what happened. <laughs> Sixty-eight point three miles an hour <laughs> with a busted rod. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and try this again. Do a little repair and see what happens. Hey everybody, our house twenty-one. I'm back and just update. I didn't actually, I discovered after a little inspection, I didn't actually break the rod in. It just pulled out of the socket. So I think I hit some bump and it caused it to go a kilter enough where it just pulled off. So no biggie, screwed it back in. Let's fire this bad boy back up. You see, last run was 68.3. Let's go ahead and reset max. I'm gonna keep the trip though. And let's see I what happens. I think a little bit closer. Yeah. Kyle, it's 1080p. They can see the detail. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but they don't forget your body. I think I would notice that. Oh, really? Okay, I'm gonna stop before I get in trouble. Yeah. And I feel raindrops. I see it on Dad, I got a joke. Please don't. I'm gonna say it anyway. So dad, what does you see A say to sushi B? What? Wasabi. <laughs> Get it? What's up? What's up? <laughs> you don't like my jokes. The YouTubers gonna like this. There's gonna be comments about this. And dad, I really think you should put your waterproof case on it. Of what? It's twitchy. Who's Debbie? Oh, I thought you said you need to turn down the steering. Turn down the steering on Debbie. It's like, it's, I thought you were saying she's twitchy. I'm like, who is Debbie? No, I don't have a car named Debbie. Good. Cause we all know that's late. All right. Let's look at the reveal. See what it. 
<laughs> 68.9. This is ridiculous. Okay. So close, but still so far. No, because I didn't do the full run, the full lineup, because I got that hill back there. All right. I want to. I want to see if he's 69.9. <laughs> I just want to see you relax, you react to him. Okay, let's go ahead and reset. Let's try it again, cause I got this. It definitely has more in it. Just I'm getting squirrely. Uh, it's just like the the drizzle stop. All right. Yeah, you're gonna end up ruining the the back. It has a wheelie bar. All right, let's see what that did. And that time only 68. So, so we we lost 0.9 miles. Yeah, this run isn't long enough because it's um, this is only I'm only able to use about 400 feet again because there's that hill on the other side. So I think it's probably peaking over 70, but I'm not. But the run's not long enough to get a measurement. So, so but, it's raining hard, Dad. Yep. All right. It's time to wrap it up. Goodbye. All right. Okay. So I blew a bearing. Dad. <laughs> Dad, this isn't time. I know. Just I blew a bearing out. I'm getting drenched, Dad. This isn't the time. All right. Well, come on. Let's go ahead. Wrap it so, up. So, you, if you look in front of me, you will see that here is my good friend Slade, and. As you see, Slade is missing an axle hub. That's this guy right here. Now, why am I showing you this? Well, a few minutes ago, I was I finally got some time and so I can go off and do some runs. So I was all happy, very excited, got out, uh, proceeded to do some cranking, and uh, I actually blew out my axle bearings. So um, you see pieces of them all down in here. Now, that's not that big a deal, I have extras problem so I think I've mentioned before that for a lot of things you know aluminum is great but especially for like speed and run type of situations I have I have always felt that plastic parts in general are usually a little bit more um, well a little bit more forgiving and that, uh, that in a lot of cases aluminum might be more trouble than it's worth well I say that you see Slade has aluminum ice corner now it's actually one of the first purchases I did for it but here as I mentioned the, the bearings blew out but if you look in here you know nice and simple but if you look over here you know the I'm gonna focus there we go the actual race came apart and now it's stuck so the outer part of my bearing is fused to the aluminum carrier and because aluminum is softer than steel which the um, bearing is made out of. Now, I can't just stick a screwdriver in there and pop it out. And I've actually tried to, but if you see there's little gouges on the inside, because the aluminum is soft, very soft aluminum. And when I try to pry it out, all I'm doing is uh, putting damage to my aluminum axle here. So I'm gonna try to get this thing apart tonight. So I might try to put some heat on it, or actually, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is put it in the freezer. And that should make the two metals attract. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm gonna have to look up in my textbook to see which has the higher coefficient of expansion, steel or aluminum. But basically, I'm gonna to have to either shrink or, um, or either heat up or cool this thing down in order to get the metals to separate so I can get that race out. So my day's done because I can't get this stupid thing out. So if this is plastic, you know, I might have some other options. Well, I mean, I mean, it probably wouldn't have fused like this, but yeah, you know, this is just one of those things you have to keep in mind. And sometimes the more expensive part actually ends up causing you some headaches. So, I mean, it didn't break, but you know, I don't have extra things I have to deal with. So, things to keep in mind. So, our house 21 signing off.
And remember the matcha, mantra, break it, fix it, do it all over again, fly, fix, fly. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe.